I really like to hear more about side projects because I think it's one of the more interesting concepts of A, how to run a business, yeah. and B, in particular, you know, what you're actually doing. Um, so I would like to hear more about that. Um, if, if you heard earlier, I mentioned I'm the uh, founder brewer at Side Project Brewing. Um, I work for the most understandable, awesome boss ever, uh, Phil Wymore for Printing Artists and Ales. He's the founder. Um, pretty much he sat me down one day and was like, when are you leaving me? Uh, it's, it's, it's common in the industry. If you've noticed, John's moved on you know, from Goose to his next venture. Phil himself did that same Phil thing. Phil did the same thing from to Goose. Half acre and then. To, yeah, from Goose to Half Acre to Perennial now. Um, it, it's, it's, it's commonplace as this industry grows. And um, he just sat me down and asked me when this was going to happen. And I, I, I just told him, like, yes, I have thought about it. And I kind of started playing around with the idea and throwing some things together. Well, three months passed, and he came up with the idea. He's like, well, why don't you just continue to work at Perennial? I'm head brewer at Perennial. Nothing's changing there. But start my kind of gypsy brewery inside of Perennial. So I go to work every day at Perennial. I brew perennial beers. I, you know, help with you know new recipes, new you know new developments, you know R and D, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then at, um, at night and on the weekends, it's my playground. You know, if I want to lease the brew house and I need to brew some beer, I can. I have my own barrels, my own racks. Everything is 100% barrel aged. Most of it's barrel fermented because I can't afford a fermenter right now. <laughs> <laughs> that that shiny that shiny stainless is expensive. Um, I, have, I have one fermenter, it's a, an open top, uh, non-temperature controlled fermenter, which is fantastic because I'm making exclusively saisons, wild ales, and uh, barrel aged spirits beers. So um, I brew there at Perennial, um, I, my barrels are at Perennial, it's just a separate company because it's, it's, it's my money, I guess my ass if something messes up and, and, it, and it came from just some ideas that we talked about scaling them up at Perennial, and when I told Phil how I made those, like the Blueberry Flanders we did last year for Fobab, and um, very good. For, uh, thank you, um, and for some other special events. Whenever we discussed it for this year for Perennial beers, I discussed with Phil and Emily like, this is how many, how much blueberries we would need to purchase in order to make a production batch. And like, nope, that's not going to happen. Like, right. <laughs> so you know, it it gives me the freedom to run with that idea on my own, you know, dime and and, and try to jam it in there. And it's great, because I still have my job at Perennial. I'm not leaving there. The, the industry is so huge and growing that it's not a competition, really. You know, it's, it's everybody needs to produce better beer and, and exhibit what you know, true barrel aging can be. Because there are a lot of, unfortunately, people just throwing beer in barrels, and that's not what barrel aging is about. No, but you can charge more money for it. You can charge more money for it. <laughs> uh, and, and we've all had that barrel aged beer. You're like, hmm, this is, woo. <laughs> and, 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 and uh, it, it's, it's, I'm just really lucky. So side project is beer's been in barrels. I have, I have a beer in a barrel since late 2011. That's my oldest and going on up. And um, a year and a half at this point. Yeah, and I'm hoping and it's just still to the point where I'm tasting it and seeing where it's at. And it would be a lot of blending. So my first, first couple beers would be blend, blends of stuff. And I want to exhibit what blending of beers can be. Because we talk about the most important part of what we do is blending. It's not about just brewing beer, throwing it in a barrel. And that's where I think the next step of barrel-aged beers will go is the true, the true um, craftsmen of barrel-aging will be good blenders. Mm -hmm. They'll be yeah. fantastic blenders. They won't just be brewing and throwing in barrels. Um, so, yeah, I should have beer in about three to four months. Got my first couple TTB finally approved my first couple formulas. Congratulations. Well now <laughs> on to labels and going from there. Mm -hmm.